Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I apologize for asking to speak again, but I won't apologize for what I'm about to say. Again, I will say that the things I hear on this floor sometimes are just shocking to me. I find it unconscionable and incredibly disingenuous that the senator from Lake Elsinore, who is a white woman, as I am a white woman, would say that we live in the least racist state and the least racist country for two reasons. One, I don't agree with that, but two, least racist implies that racism still exists. We are here today to try and change that. And maybe for her as a white woman, she has never experienced racism, but so many people have, hundreds of thousands of people in our state, in our country have. We have an opportunity to do one small thing today. We still have so much work to do. And I had to rise and say that because I also don't think that it should be incumbent upon my good colleague and my friend from Los Angeles to address all of these absurdities that she has heard in her clothes. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Melendez. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I was under the impression and I was told that things operated a little differently over here on the Senate with respect to how we treat one another, um, but I guess that's not the case. So, um, it, you know, I think a lot of times people don't like what someone has to say on this floor, but a personal attack against me for, for, some, for an opinion that I expressed, I think is really inappropriate, terribly unprofessional, and frankly, behavior not commensurate with the position that we all hold as state senators. And as a veteran, thank you for the salute. I appreciate that. Um, so I would just ask, Madam President, that we could certainly make sure we adhere to the decorum and rules of the Senate um, and keep this a civilized discussion rather than personal attacks. Thank you.